There we go. All right. Let's start then in on page eight, line five. Any volunteers? Yeah, I'll take it. Awesome. Thanks, Erin. While I fumble through my notes. <laughs> okay, so Aha and Sutah Kendet Erju Aa were. So um then Seth was angry entirely, greatly, very much. <laughs> I think that's what that's, that's conveying. That's like right? angry, literally it's angry, angry to the, to hills, the limit. Right. right. Angry to right. the limit. Greatly, very, very greatly. Very greatly, yeah. <laughs> right. He's the right. maddest really he's been angry. yet. He's been <laughs> angry before and he's been greatly angry, but he's never been entirely greatly he's seriously very, very angry. angry. Yes, never entirely very greatly angry. <laughs> right. Oh, should I should I do a little more? <laughs> why not? Why not? Quick question on this one. So said can Shunt in Coptic. Yeah, we had this one on page six, I think. Uh, do where are we had that once before? We were already amused about yeah. it then. Yeah, yeah. No, otherwise, <laughs> not much more to say, right? Present one, I guess. Uh, so, mental her in between, between the, the said and the kent, I'm assuming. So, yeah, let's just go on. Aha and ta pesajet her jed and sutech, then the Ennead said to Seth, um, I iru ek kendet her ich. Um, I'm a little lost on this. I iru ek. Um, her i irek. Irek. Um, so ich at the end there is a question word, right? So make so make you something. It makes you what? Oh, what I see. Iruak kendet her i. What makes you angry? What is making you angry? Right, right. right. Geode makes it like focus. Well, focalizing in, in Coptic, but but second tense mm. or whatever. So, hi, Chris. What is yeah. it that makes you angry? I guess. Yeah. Sorry for being late. No, 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 no. sorry, Glad you can make it. Yep, same here. So the magic question here is, first of all, what is the, um, what is this? Oops, no, I did this wrong. Um, go away. What is this, I should say. And why is it there? Um, and uh, any, I think you already said it, Ralph. Second tense. It is a second tense. I mean, there's only so many things that that start with this, namely the imperative. Well, that's not it. Um, could be for like relatives or what am I missing? Relative participle, right? Um, could start with this or the second tense. Um, and here with a, a, a verb afterwards, it makes perfect sense that that's a second tense. So um, that you are angry is upon what? I would translate that as a why, basically. Like, mm -hmm. like um, you would say in, in Coptic, because of what? I think that's what that is. So in other words, why are you, why are you getting angry? Mm -hmm. Very good. Want to go on a little bit until the next red part, or? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll give it a whirl. Um, uh, is it been a year to M. Paul Jed to Nepali Yunu Hena Pare Harakti? So um, I think this is an interrogative opening. Like, is it not? Mm -hmm. um, is it not be done? Is it not done? Um, I'm a little thrown by this pow, like that, that, that the the which is said, that which is said, that which said, Atum, um, Lord of the two lands, 
with and pray So is it not, is this not being done as was said by Atum and pray in more proper English? But what, what is the W doing on the PA there? I would expect uh, like Neti if it were like that which. Yeah, that's interesting. I do know that there is, uh, we may have to look this one up. So one thing that comes to mind is we have Pai Tai Nai, the demonstrative, like this man, etc. cetera. Um, normally you don't use that one in an absolute fashion. Like um, if you wanted to say, like do this or something, you would use Pao with an extra U, W at the end. Um, pai Tai Nai is normally only used either before another noun or as the subject of a, of a sentence that ends in Pai Tai Nai. So that's the first thing that comes to mind. Maybe it's that, that, uh, that um, basically that variant. But it, yeah, this clearly means what is being said, right? Pao Jot Atum. You know what? Let's cheat. Let's look it up because I'm not too sure either. Unless anybody else has it, what that, I mean, it's clearly some kind of, we're trying to make some kind of relative construction here, right? That which is being said, mm -hmm. but how does that mm -hmm. work? Um, I have no idea. I mean, Ramses just translates it, transliterates it as pod and ignores the W. Oh, really? As what? I'm sorry. Ramses just transliterates it as pa. They drop the W entirely. It was translated. That's as interesting. A, is it, well, let's, sorry. Getting confused here with too many screens. Let's what's in the text. But no, there is a U, right? There's definitely a W there. Yeah. Yeah. W. So it's real. Ha. Huh. Okay, so we're not gonna get help from Ramses. Okay. And Ellie doesn't have it either. I'm just looking at it. Uh, but he points it out. See, he basically says it's Pouchet, but he doesn't say why it's Pouchet. How does he translate it? Um Non si deve forse agire secondo ciò che dicono atum and and preharachti. So shouldn't one act according to what say uh, atum and and preharachti? Hmm. I wonder if I wonder if um, Nevo has anything on it. The question, of course, would we have be... a second person plural. Suffix pronoun on the possessive. That's true. It's your. Oh. That doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't really, huh? Or your words, maybe? Like if, yeah, yeah. if the words of Atum are plural. Why second person, though? Wouldn't it be third? Like, oh, yeah, that would be third person. Yeah. Yeah. Th their, their words, basically. But then something feels missing, right? Like, um, their words atum and preharachti sounds off. Let's see if he has something on relative sentences. Hang on, I'll take my paper copy. It's easier than to search online. That's interesting. <clears throat> ba, ba, ba. Clearly didn't get that far in the book yet. Oh, sorry. The W is third person, not second person. Yeah, that really makes sense. So that makes sense. If Atum is a collective uh, person. Well, it's Atum and Preharakti. So oh. this plural, I guess. Atum Nabtawi Yunu Hena Preharakti, right? Don't forget the Yunu, although it doesn't get any period or anything. Yunu. Oh, right. The Heliopolitan, I might have said. Right. Mm -hmm. I might have said that. It's, it's just tiny. Pray Harakti always gets like a quarter of a line, but Atum. You know. I know. And every time I start to translate it, I'm like, the. Oh, yep. <laughs> wow. Is there anything in the, the grammar index? Let's see. Pow, pow, pow. 31339, example 34. Okay. Let's see what that is. 39, example 34. 39, example 34. How about something? Or better. Oh. 
doesn't really fit. So they use it there, like, I'll show you that one. Um, page 174, hang on. Oh, we're actually quite close. So that came up from the grammar index here. Um, yeah. You guys can see. Um, you can make the same that, argument that because there's two scribes. Because it's pi zecha uh, two. Right, right, right. Yeah, I think he's focusing on this though, on the power in the beginning. And that just means basically, that was what I was talking about before. If you need like a, um, not an an article, but a, a pronoun that like these things uh, or that thing, uh, the pow, namely it is a wrong or it is a wrongdoing, uh, buta of blah, 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 it is. So that's completely different. I don't think we have that here. So this is the section on nominal sentences, right? So where's the right. where's the theme? Like which what what are the two parts? Which one's the predicate and which one's the right? Exactly. So that doesn't fit. What else do we have? Three one three. I think that's when he explains the the pronouns. Three one three. Yeah. The hey. neuter form pow translated as this or that, mainly used as a pronoun. Yeah, let me bring it up for so everybody can look at it. It's page eight. Yeah. There you go. And I apologize for all the scribblings on the page. There is a neuter form, pow, translated this or that, mainly used as a pronoun. So, er, pow, concerning that, and then blah, blah, blah. Pow. I mean, the other option was you were proposing the, um, the possessive article, right? So. Yes, that one. Uh, is the spelling right in that case? Oh, he doesn't give the spelling. That's annoying. That's <laughs> I honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. So I mean, the, the pronoun makes sense. I mean, that, that translates things, perfectly. The words that. About Atum and. Yeah. Right. He's referring to that, the thing that was said by Atum and Preherati. I think that makes perfect sense, actually. Hmm. Okay. Is it not being done? That, you know, that thing said by Atum and Preherati. Namely, he's angry that they've just crowned Horus and the, 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 Enyad is saying, well, but th that has been said by Atum and Prehradakti. Isn't it being done? That was, th which was said by these guys. And why is, is it possible to tell whether Jed is a relative or a infinitive? Mm -hmm. That would help us distinguish those two. If it were a relative, wouldn't it typically have a little I in front of it? Like the the pathetic uh, uh, pathetic yod. Yod. I mean, yeah, but Jed is. A note Maybe. that gets that for the imperative. I'm not sure for the relative slash partic participle, but I just found something. Um, actually, Ellie has a note on it. He says, um, "M pau Jed." Um. Late Egyptian grammar 27.2, and I think that's Tony Kual. Let's have a look. Sorry for the rabbit hole here. <laughs> 20... No, I, I'm the one who brought it up. All right. Well, let's figure this out. And the, the question, how do you tell Jet apart? We should take a look at that too. Like, is there actually something we can learn here? Um, 27. Unfortunately, I don't have an electronic copy of this one. I think um, Kevin had one, but I have no idea where you find it. Twenty-seven-two. 
It's all negations like this. Right. It's all about. I mean, I, I guess eerie, but I don't see a pi, pow. No, no pow. But hmm, is there anyone any? Wait. Is a pi? I said. I remember dimly that M can also mean um, according to, if I'm not mistaken. So that, that could make some sense here. That does make sense. Hasn't it been done according to mm -hmm. that, the words of Atun? Well, here's Simpson's translation. Isn't it in accordance with what Atum, Lord of the Two Lands, the Heliopolitan, and Preharakti have said that action should be taken? Still a contradictory question. Hmm. I mean, maybe we'll just run with it for the moment. Um, I'll, I'll still chalk it up under, under something a bit peculiar. I mean, I sort of I get the meaning, but I... Pow Jed. Hmm. I still don't quite know what that is grammatically. Pow Jed. Is that, I mean, to Ralph's point, is that some kind of participle or just an infinitive that's being used in a weird way? They're saying? Let's see. Say? They usually analyze their verbs. Say it, say it again. I missed it, Evan. Oh, uh, Ramses. We can see what they say. Oh, yeah. Well, how do they they gloss it? Yeah. Relative perfect, I think. I don't understand yeah. all Ramses annotations. Rel PFB. PFV. PF. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ramses online abbreviations. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need. That there is such a thing. There is a page where they actually have the. Um, but of course, this doesn't help. It doesn't also help that I didn't spell it right. Could but then I can spell it in French. I where it is. Um, T. Unity HMZ or something, right? Is what they call the. I thought it would come up that way. It doesn't. Mm. Any other? No. Oh, here we go. You have it? So under help. Oh, okay. You mean I don't have to find it via Google? That's just way <laughs> too way too simple. So per, uh, per, yeah, PFV is perfective. Okay. Where is it, by the way? I know I've seen it before. Here you go. Yeah. So that's that's the articles, and then below that is the verbs. Okay, perfective, huh? And the page itself? Huh? Perfective relative. A perfective uh, So which one was it? I haven't opened it yet. Perfective relative. Okay. Which I don't actually see in this list, but <laughs> it's clearly what they mean. So we're on page 59, I think. Okay. The text. Ramses. Mm -hmm. Verb relative perfective. That you have. Just always use one of the unusual words to get to the page. That's an interesting way to find your page. <laughs> <laughs> I know that word has not occurred before in the text, so. <laughs> nice. Yeah, relative perfective. N'est-ce mm. pas précisément ce qu'on dit à tout? I would say let's accept it for the moment. But this is an interesting one. Maybe we want to come back to that at some point in time.
I, I mean, in Coptic, you're so super flexible with how you can make all sorts of, of relative expressions, the, the pa, this and that. Yeah, um, you just put pa in front of anything, really. Right. Pa and pa can be used in front of anything. So this is kind of interesting. Maybe let's get mm. back to that when we do relative sentences in late, late Egyptian. Um, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I remember to check this. Right. But no, otherwise... Not, uh, hmm? Go ahead. Why they think, it's not clear to me why they think it's a relative specifically, though. Can I make the grammar work in French? Well, let's have a quick look then. Relatives, how are they marked in in uh, in late Egyptian? Here are the participles, 27, relative, 119. Okay. Okay. Frequently preceded by a prosthetic yacht. Prosthetic or prosthetic? <laughs> Autocorrect. <laughs> Autocorrect to the front, to the <laughs> for the win. I love it. A oh. prosthetic yacht. <laughs> This is cute. I mean, this is not a perfect translation, I have to say. <laughs> no, no, it isn't. There's lots of places where they just throw up their hands and say, you know what, I'm going to use the French grammar here. I'll make it sound like it's an English term, but it really isn't. Aww. Oh, that's pretty funny, by the way. Um, I think, Christopher, you brought this one up, the, the new book by Zatzinger. Uh, I love it. It's great. Um, but you can also tell that it was written by a non-native English speaker. Um, because some of the the turns of phrases in here are just too funny. Where you're like, okay, this is German. Mm -hmm. I recognize that. <laughs> Sounds like home. <laughs> <laughs> like syntax is sometimes a bit all, all over the place, but okay. Um, the antecedent of the resulting relative clause must be defined. Well, that's the case. We have a we have a power there either by a proper noun, a personal pronoun, a noun defined by an article, a demonstrative, a possessive, a suffix, or nib. Okay. Yeah, the scene is always resumed by a resumptive pronoun, except when it is identical to the direct pronominal object of the relative form, which is the case here. Right. I guess the direct pronominal object that what it, which is said yes so you don't that have would be a tomb and prehirakti right um no the object that would be what is said I guess well if if jet is a verb then its object is well maybe not I don't know mm. it's slippery like that's not at all how you do it in English but no nope. <laughs> very different I agree it's not the object in English but I was wondering if it was the object in the subject of the relative form being different from the antecedent is always expressed. And that's the case here. You have the, the atum and preharachti. So that's good. That fits. Um, the only thing we still don't know is why it's pow. But should we let that rest a little bit? Let's, yeah, let's let it rest. I don't think we, we can get it anywhere. Right. Yeah, I'd have to take some digging now. I think it's in this chapter, probably, the solution. Oh, look at this. Oh, pow. Huh. Yep. Pow, e, iri. Imi, heper. So make be. Pow, e, iri, u, neb, et jajau. Okay, so let everything, no, let be, namely, pau i iri unib, um, that which they have done, all of it, so everything that they have done. Okay, that is that is very similar to us. So in our, in our case, it would be pau i jedu nib, so to say, um, if, if I wanted to use the same. This is very similar. You just have to replace the U by by um, Atum and Rehaarachti. 
and you have to come to terms with the fact that there is no no e and then it makes sense. Aesthetic yoga is only there sometimes. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes it doesn't need the prosthesis. <laughs> oh, boy. does anyone remember the difference between pros between prosthetic and prosthetic? I mean, they mean almost the same thing in Greek, but I don't remember what the S does. Because the prosthesis is a, is like a thing you stick on. Right, like it goes on front of your face. That's literally what the word means. Isn't it a completely different, different uh, prosthetic? Oh, come on, dictionary. What, what does it come from? Uh, isn't that a completely different verb? Or where does the s belong? The sigma. Does that belong to the pro, or does it belong to the? I thought it belonged to the pro or pros. Like those are almost the same. Like, is it towards your face or is it in front of your face? It's kind of the difference. Let's have a look. Yeah, you're right. Pros toward. Pros is toward. Yeah. Pros and I place. And prosthetic? Presumably the same, right? Um, revol uh, involving prosthesis. Okay, that is very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> prosthesis, a preposition. A preposing. See alternative etymology below. I think that might be a little circular there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm. I'm not preposing going preposition. <laughs> I already see some rabbits jumping all over the place. There must be a rabbit hole here. So no, not going. <laughs> I mean, this is the rabbit hole to end all rabbit holes. <laughs> I think so. I think so, guys. Oh, Let's... these videos must be so valuable to people watching them in the future. Oh, the Egyptian you're learning right now. <laughs> right. What are they doing actually? Are they? What are they on? <laughs> Lady Egyptian. All right. Um. Yeah, I think we've successfully conquered the sentence with everything that belongs to it. Agreed? Agreed. Okie doke. Should we look at the hieratic? I think we should. Um, and we're starting from the from here. So nicely written. I'll make it bigger. Nicely written set in two parts, interestingly. So maybe like this, like this, this, and this, or something like that. Not completely sure on the sequence how you do this. Um, but Something like that. I'm not sure when this little vertical probably would make most sense. Um, but it looks like the knees are a separate stroke from the, the body. That's what I think too. Yeah. Exactly the same thing. Something like this. And then go down and then do this. Sort of like when you used to do like earlier hieratic, if you write the, the M something like that. It has that, this part comes sequ separately. So yeah. I think that's what's going on here. There's another one halfway through this line. Let's see, we can see if it's clear. Right. Where is it? Um, yeah, that's no. the different um, shape where the, lot of the feet are straight, oh, straight yeah. two verticals. Yeah. Because we like variation. Why would you do the same thing twice? <laughs> Bird on a stick, vertical Q, D. The D ligatured with the T. Nice, yeah. This is common. Here it really looks like the R is done in two strokes. Something I've always wondered. Do you do it just like one big oval shape or do you do it from left to right, left to right? I think it's the latter, just because yeah, it I can see really two strokes there. Do or oh, Ju, um, double, double W, um, bad bird. Yeah. Right. Um, big sign right afterwards. Very big word bird. Well, that's where, what do you expect? Aha, aha with a tiny little, little N. Ta, pis, jet, all familiar. Her, jet, N, again, all familiar, different set. Um, prothetic, um, weed leaf and A2. Ir, this is interesting. What's he doing here? Stillmate doesn't do that. No, is no, this, that's a giant, giant reduced W, something like this. Mm -hmm. I have to imagine, I guess, huh? And then just do the K. Again, couldn't for angry. Um, 
trying to get out of the way of my scribbles here. Just repeat, repeat, ich, ligature over, ist, uh, we have a WT ligature, which comes from what we just discussed, uh, the second stroke there on the, on the quail check. Um, this ben is weird. I wouldn't have recognized that. That's, mm. I'll take it under advisement. I mean, it's, there's something going on here. Um, the irtu, we didn't speak about the irtu, but essentially meaning here being, isn't it that one, that is to be done, that one should do basically. So yeah. Mm -hmm. um, ir, I can't claim I fully understand what's going on here. Is this, is this something? I think, I think that might be the W. What's on the line below? Because we're getting some encroachment. We are. Yeah. Oh, here's another. I think that's a stray thing. mark or something, though. Like the line below, it's just uh, the guy with like the A2. Yeah. yeah. So it's not clear what to me that oh. that's true. Huh. Is. This comes from here. But like it's normally his pen slipped or something. <laughs> <laughs> Allergies. <laughs> I mean, it's much more connected to the A2. Like it looks like. Yeah, it just went off the end, but well, let's take a quick look at what this should be. There should be an R, yeah, and then the T or something. But normally, hey, you... hey, how are you? Sorry, <laughs> I didn't Mike. even see you come in. This is a bit weird, honestly, because when he normally, That's when he weird. writes two, he does this, he writes the T. Then he comes up and he comes down like this. That's just his way of writing two. And this here fits to the two, right? Doesn't it? But mm -hmm. I used to get an R in there as well. Mm -hmm. And I honestly don't quite know what he does here and why this is there. It's a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. But I think we get two rabbit holes, maybe procession. I'll, I'll skip over this one. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we'll never get on with our program here. So, M, Pau, Pau, Jed, giant, nice Tem for our tomb at the back. Um, a tomb has a W at the end. Oh, interesting. Um, Nib, the two lands, Dawi, some kind of squish thingy here that. That's the, um, here you go. First one, ligature it over, second one. Okay, once you know, you know. Uh, the one from Unit or from On that we've seen many times before. So again, the simplified version of the city. Big like you always does in Rena, Ha, Bare, yeah, all right. We made it through that one. Next Before one. Before we go on, I just wanted to point out if you if you scroll up so we can see the when and then the line above. Yes, sir. Maybe not that much, but uh, the aha end when we went over, like there's a little red dot below it, which was confusing me. But if you look at it next to the line below, like that's right at the edge of one of the papyrus strips and it's just flaked off. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that yeah, that dot is actually the end of the end, and the space in the middle is just oh, the, is flaked off the edge of the papyrus sheet. And if you look at the win and at the bottom, like the middle of the win is missing entirely, and so yeah. that's the same edge. Great point. You're right. Mm -hmm. but, uh, you look it looks at just exactly. You can't tell what that dot is, but that's what it is. Yeah, I was confused yeah. when I saw that, and and somehow managed to ignore it. You're right. It's just a, a flake. Huh. Very good. Okay, look, guys, who wants the next one from when in? I can try. Go for it. Ish. How to zoom in? Oh, what was that word? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, when in semen, uh, hejeter dep and heru. Sa Iset. Um, 
So, and then they cause to simmon, whatever that is, uh, place maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's but, like set or establish. Okay. Set makes more sense here. Okay, so they set the crown on the head of Horus, son of Isis. Right, exactly, exactly. Aha, and setech. Ashsegabu. Ashsegabu a'a er herenti tai pesajet uf hejnu imjed iirtu dit ta yunu in wow, this goes up all the time. Ta uh yout in pi sen sherry okay so what do we got here the so then seth cries out very loudly um can you scroll the page Aurelio? oh i'm sorry so go back to where we yeah, were yeah, 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 left. my bad i yes. apologize <laughs> thanks Mm -hmm. so, so we're here. Achan Setax Ash Sigabu Ah Ah Air Air Hair. Is that a yeah, that's a proposition? That's what I was just trying to look up because I circled it as if I think in this case the hair is face. It's actually toward toward the face. Oh that makes sense. Oh, he okay. yelled at the face into the face of or towards the face of I think the... so. <laughs> yeah, why is it Thai? Why it's is that an Eid, I guess? I don't know why it's Thai and not um and not Ta, right? He, he never he always just says Ta. It's strange that this time's yeah. different. Thai, you know. And it looks like a Thai. I mean, there's something there, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um I'm still hung up on the er, er her though. Is that a com compound preposition by any chance? Like in front or something? Yes, what I would say, yeah. It's preposition was noun. It's not a Nevoo's list, but. Yeah, not a Nevoo's list, yeah. Um, let me see. I thought I'd seen it somewhere. Um, I know Erhat is before. In front of, er hat en in front. I think of. it's er, er her en. The whole thing together means like in front of. Um, I guess. Um, okay. I mean that would make sense here, doesn't it? Right. It just. I mean, it's de essentially derived from toward the face of in front of. I mean, it makes right. Sense in English. Right. Yeah, I don't see it in any list, but let's take it as that. I mean, otherwise it just sounds very funny, right? To the face of the... the, the... He screamed in the face of the Ennead. Yeah. <laughs> this the Ennead, not the other one. This, not this the other one. one. This Ennead, the one that's right here in front of him. Ah, sometimes it's just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know why he did that. Why he, he put Thai. Um... Okay, but we have Pesajet, and then we have a circumstantial EUF. Mm -hmm. uh, while he um, hedge new hedge no what hedge new. is hedge no I think it's just another word for angry anger fury something like that I think mm. I mean should I admit that in my notes it says pissed <laughs> <laughs> there it is is that what Lesko has <laughs> that's literally what it says <laughs> Ramsey says, be, be indignant. Uh, <laughs> oh, have to edit the video uh, again. Hmm? Go again, Ralph. Sorry. Oh, just, Ramsey's translates it as being indignant. So he's like, I think that is slightly <laughs> dignified. Yeah, let's go over that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so oh. at the words, and here we have a prophetic yod that were given. Oh, sorry. Or saying, is it that, yeah. is it to be done, saying, is it to be done to give the office of my 
younger brother. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I moved the thing on my lines. Mm -hmm. My younger brother, so Pi Sin Sherry. Mm -hmm. EU E, well, I, Ahak M. So while I'm standing up as uh, Pifsen, uh, as his, well, I'm present as his older brother, or something like that. I think so. What do you make out of the, the K? I do not know. Same question. Is yeah. <laughs> um, stative. So it's basically Ahakui. Ah Ahakui. Oh. Ah right. yeah. Ahakui. Um, no, so that, that, mm -hmm, go ahead. So it really is while I'm being present. If even that, I think Hemse uh, to sit and Aha to stand are very often just used as a, like um, an auxiliary verb. Um, let's see if, if we find something on that. But I think it basically just me being his older brother. Or I guess, like you said, like while I'm also there as his older brother. Um, I don't think it has the full, full um, meaning of standing anymore. It's more like a like an auxiliary. Trying to find something that uh, would actually indicate that. Hang on. I think I've been so. Then that n after e out would be two, not of. Give the office to my younger That's, brother. Yeah, you're right. Huh? It must be right. Definitely, you're right. The office of my younger brother. brother. Uh, to my younger brother, yes. To um, I. It's interesting, like the, the pie gets the bird on the stick, but the but the EUE gets just an A1. Mm. Yeah. True. Okay. Interesting. You're a subtle bias here, huh? I... <laughs> yeah, that was one of the things that I asked Christian about, I think, in the maybe beginning of the class was, is it already decided because they're using all the, the bird on the stick determinatives from the very beginning? <laughs> you asked it. Yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's You're a good right. point. I, th I think you could probably argue that pretty clearly. That you know, here are the clause where he claims the incorrect possibility. He's not being divine. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know. I think our scribe might just play a little fast and loose with pronouns in certain cases because it really does seem to vary without much rhyme or reason. I mean, I just found an example here. So um, let's see if this. Hmm. So yeah, I only have it in paper form, so I can't really bring it up here on the page and on the on the screen, unfortunately. But. Um, So, like I said, Hemse is one, uh, Hemse to, to Sid. Um, um, basically, Yui, Yui, Ire, I spend. Um, uh, Abed, Heru, I spend a month. Um, I mean, Yui, Ire, Abed, Heru, I spend a month. Yui, no, Yui, Hemsek, Yui, Wa. Uh, Sitting as I was sitting, being one. So basically, I spent a month by myself. That uses the the hemsi here in the stative to essentially be um, an auxiliary verb. And he has another example here where he basically has um, uh, aha. Wait, is this correct? Is this a stative? I oh, know that doesn't fit. Aha. Here the aha is the stative, right? Yeah, the the aha is the stative. He has one here, a cavalier, where the um, it's ahai, and then a stative afterwards. Um, ahai shuti, being, being deprived of, in this case, of grain. Hmm. Weird. No, I thought I had a good example for it, but I misremembered. Although I still think it's probably this. 
but the, the K is on the Acha. So maybe it is what you said, Rolf. Maybe it is while I'm standing here as his older brother, maybe it is the full. I'll take back what I said. It may not be an auxiliary verb, but I just mean it may be the full verb. And then it's expanded by M pi pi sin. Makes sense. Because what I was remembering was with the the state of following after the aha is a separate verb. Not the case here. Not oh, sure. Yeah, I think hmm. this state goes right. I mean, there's nothing after the aha. That's the only right. verb there, I guess. You're right. So while I'm standing here as, as the older brother, basically, while I'm present as the older brother, like you said. Right. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Bigger brother, technically. Very cool. Uh, we have five more minutes. Let's finish the page. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Iratic. Iratic. <laughs> okay, all right. So what do we have here? Um, when into, so here you can see the two, how he normally does it, which is discussed at a moment ago. Um, then comes the men, causative of men. Um, and then comes this, this T, which somehow, I mean, it's not really a T, this, I think this comes from the sign for copper, if I'm not mistaken, that this actually um, sneaks into all the men's. Uh, I think that is basically transferred over from another word, if I'm not mistaken, I think. We'd have to look it up again, but I thought it was some kind of metal or something where this this is coming from. In any case, he likes to make, make that huge with a, like, what is that? A little flourish, or no, a little flourish with a big flourish. Tiny Y1 afterwards. Hud. I mean, I guess you have to know. Um, then a T, which again is more like a smudge almost. And the, um, for some reason, it gets the, the uh, gets the bird on a stick. Head, we talked about the last time. Or we've talked about quick, more ones. Just a quick question on the hieratic sign that is is this swooshy thing or the line thing. Sorry, I should annotate. This one? Uh yeah, this guy right here. Um everybody says that that's just a hieratic sign. Does anybody know what the hieratic sign is supposed to be? Or just is it really is it like a phonogram? Is it like or is it just a sign? I'll chime in. I'll chime in. I mean, I've seen it for two things. I've seen it for in a shorter version for for U and for T, like in um like in two two, U2, and so on. Um and I've seen it as an abbreviation for something you don't want to write because of <laughs> um, it's just okay. general abbreviation sign. Let's put an X. Um that's what I've seen. Any okay. other? input yeah that's what i've seen too but i mean it could ask what is hedge how is it normally written and it should have it should have a noob or nibu at the end um and so i'm wondering if they're just trying to abbreviate that question mark but wait this is yeah. it's the crown it's the white it's crown. The crown so Not is it for the, the crown that should come afterwards uh it could be. That, that's tedious to draw. That's a bit tedious to right. draw. So maybe that. Here you go. Oh, wait. Is that the, is that the <laughs> one that, that looks like a bowling pin? Or is that the one that looks like... <laughs> okay. Yeah, the white one's the one that looks like the bowling I think pin. it is the one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah completely wrong. It's not silver, of course. Oh, no, it's white. What am I saying? Yeah, wow. right. It's white. The white crown. Oh, this one. So... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. But hey, he, he, yeah, they're doing both. So there goes my theory. Um, beautiful. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, so much for my theory. Soundly disproven. Um, I don't know what that thing is. Let's finish this line and then we continue with the set next time. So, word, bird on a stick, sa looks like pa without the wings. Um, Stroke. This is just said T ligature with the with the egg, which he does all the time. And let's finish on this one. All right. I think it's interesting how the set is like the set is ligature to the bird on a stick. Yeah. 
burn on his I think it isn't really. I think really? that's oops, what did I do? Help. Um you think it is? Maybe, huh? I would have thought it's just coincidence, like that he wrote it. Wrote it like this. And then he did the next one and just happened to start there. I thought that's what it is, but because I mean, otherwise... the, the start of the bird on the stick isn't nearly so long. So. Normally not, right? It's much shorter. That is true. Although, look at this one. Hmm. I mean, yeah, maybe. Almost touching, yeah. I mean, it doesn't seem like you could make a ligature that direction because that's going, you'd have to go up the whole time, but. Right. Also, the angles, if you look at the It's angle. weird that they're connected there. It is. I agree. It's. Uh... Hmm. I think it's just coincidence, honestly. All right, guys, let's pick it up here next week. Cool. Sure. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, everyone. Sounds good. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye -bye.